Hey, welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel 18, verses 20 to 25 today. Let's go straight to it. Now Michael... Saul's daughter loved David, and they told Saul, and the thing pleased him. So Saul said, I will give her to him, that she may be a snare to him, and that the hand of the Philistines may be against him. Therefore Saul said to David a second time, You shall be my son-in-law today. And Saul commanded his servants, Communicate with David secretly, and say, Look, the king has delight in you, and all his servants love you. Now therefore become the king's son-in-law. So Saul's servants spoke those words in the hearing of David, and David said, Does it seem to you a light thing to be a king? son-in-law, seeing I am a poor and lightly esteemed man? And the servants of Saul told him, saying, In this manner David spoke. Then Saul said, Thus you shall say to David, The king does not desire any dowry but one hundred foreskins of the Philistines to take vengeance on the king's enemy. But Saul thought to make David fall by the hand of the Philistines. We just saw this in the previous morning. Saul wanted, his, his design was to kill David by the hand of the Philistines. And, you know, his hands are clean, or at least publicly clean. If his motive is wrong, then He's going to have to deal with God on the motive, but here we have the same idea. I'll give my daughter, and she'll be a snare to him. I'm, I'm going to kill him by giving him my daughter. Think about the, the violence in this idea. His own daughter, the person who would be his daughter's husband, that person is, is hoping will be killed by the Philistine. Think about that, that you would do that to your own daughter. I mean, what kind of a person are you? But that's the kind of person Saul is. Interesting here how David is not looking for to be part of the king's family. He seems to have stepped back from that. He seems like he's he's very concerned about this. I mean, David has to be, and he's not blind. David knows that Saul is, is up one day and down the other. David knows that Saul is not his friend. A lot of times today we have this unrealistic picture. We're sure that all these people around us are fine and innocent and godly people, and they're our friends, and they would never do anything against us, and we can trust everybody. Not everybody who presents themselves and smiles to you and pats you on the back, not everybody is your friend after all. And so David is told this 100 foreskins, that's all it takes to become the king's son in law. You've got to kill 100 of the enemy. And so that's uh, where we'll pick it up tomorrow morning. I think a message is here about trusting. We don't trust in horses. We don't trust in chariots. We don't trust in the arm of flesh. We don't trust even in our highest spiritual leaders. Sorry about that. But we trust in the Lord our God. And then, of course, we we seek to earn the trust. We seek to be totally fair. We, we want to trust our leaders. But ultimate trust always is for God, is never for the human leader, ever. If we haven't learned that by reading the stories of the Bible, I'm not quite sure when we'll learn it. But we can certainly be generous toward our leaders. We should be. We should, we should be very generous toward our leaders. But at the same time, we should always reserve ultimate faith, all of our faith, for God. And then trust our leaders as far as they follow God's leading too. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we tend to trust in what we can see, the physical, the visible. We tend to trust in people that we know. We trust in the human. We trust in the arm of flesh. And Lord, we, even when there are good men, good women, we we're thankful for them, Lord. Just we give praise to you for your work in their hearts and lives. But may we not forget that our ultimate trust always is in you, the God of heaven and earth. Lord, you are our deliverer. All the rest of us are kind of a footnote and not even hardly that. Thank you for Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Help us to remember our place. We are dust. God is the infinite, perfect God who is love, the essence of love. May we seek his way more than our way. May he be with you today.